The set of plugs I currently have in this Volvo are about 60,000 miles old. The coils, however, have 260,000 miles on them and I've been getting a little bit of stumbling so I'd like to replace the whole set just to get as be the best performance that I can. Let's open up the hood, pull the plugs out, see what they look like and do the part swap. As always, I'm just showing you how I do my repairs. If you choose to do so, you're doing so at your own risk. Be sure to take all the necessary safety precautions. All right, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is remove the cover so we'll have access to the ignition coils and the spark plugs. These are Torx 30 bolts, and we're gonna take this cover off and also the back part of the timing belt cover. There's two spring clips on the back of the timing cover. You can access those on either side here and here. Once you get that out, it's easy to remove this one. We have our cylinders one, two, three, four, and five. To start with, I'm gonna go with cylinder one, push down this and pull the connector out. There is a 10, millime 10 millimeter head bolt. It's only one that holds the um, the coil in. Just take a 10 millimeter socket, back it off. And your coil will come out just like that. You can look down inside here. Spark plug is way down in there. And to remove that, you take a extension with the spark plug socket that fits. Uh, this is actually 5 8 fits fine on my plug. And I put some tape around here just so that the, uh, the socket won't come off of the extension and cause a problem. Now this socket also has a little rubber piece inside of it that grabs the top of the spark plug. So it makes it uh, easy to lift the spark plug out. You back it off. I'd like to also mention that I am doing all of this work on a cold engine. I have not driven this car today, specifically because I knew I was going to take the plugs out. That's my plug after 60,000 miles. Here's a little information from the Volvo guide. Uh, it shows the three electrode plug. Note, spark plugs with three electrodes cannot be adjusted. The gaps listed that can be measured are between the insulator and the side electrode. Nominal measurement is 0.5 millimeters or 0.02 inches. It goes on to say lubricate the spark plug threads with paste. Tighten the plugs to 30 newton meters or 22 foot pounds. The ignition coils will need to be tightened to 10 newton meters or 7.4 foot pounds, which is basically just hand tight. And the cover, the T30 bolt for the uh, cover, eight newton meters or six foot pounds. Again, that's just hand tight. I have an old tube of anaces. This is Permatex, it's a 133A. I think they've changed the number a little bit, but it's a high temperature anaces. It's very important to make sure that you do not get any of this anti-seize on the electrodes. I'm just going to put a little bit of this. That's enough. And I'll put the spark plug in and start the threads by hand, which is something you should always do. Now, if you don't have a torque wrench, usually you can do uh, snug plus about an eighth of an eighth of a turn uh, But that's something you should look up I've got it set and I'll verify one more time because it would really stink to strip out that I am at 30 Newton meters for the plug and it says here the plug should be tight at 30 newton meters so I'm good I 
Now it will take a little while for that compression washer to compress. Once it does, that's when you'll get the torque. Now I'll do an inspection between the two coils and make sure they look the same. Looks the same on both sides. And as a matter of fact, this is a Bosch coil that I bought. And this one says Volvo, but when you get down in here and you look at the insulator, it actually says Bosch as well. I'll take the new coil and I'll insert it in here and um, I'll put a little dielectric grease just on this rubber right here just to help it slide down and seal not much just to make it a little bit damp so it's not dry make sure you go on top of the top of the spark plug and then once you do just press it down and reconnect your connector and you'll take your 10 millimeter bolt start it by hand So the torque for this bolt, again, is 10 newton meters. Hand tight is good, but if you want to be overly thorough, you can take your torque wrench, set it to 10 newton meters, and check it that way. The procedure for the other four remaining cylinders is exactly the same. I'll video while I do it, but to save you from having to watch every detail, I'll speed it up. The last thing to do is put these covers back on. When you do the one that goes over the tiny belt, just make sure you get these notches in the end here at an angle. And then snap the cover down front and back with the little metal catch. I'm going to take a Torx 30 screwdriver. Get them started. Run them down. And if you have the right attachments for a torque wrench and you want to be crazy thorough, you can do the 8 newton meter click. But this is just a cover. It doesn't need it. Hand tight's good. I'm just doing it now because I got it all here, so why not? And that's it. It's almost dark here. The moon is out. Let's see, can you see it? Well, we had just enough time to finish the job. And the only thing left to do now is to start it up and see how it runs. All right, that's it. 
engine's running nice and smoothly again no engine codes on I'd call this a success remember if you like this video please like and subscribe it helps me out a lot and if you want to see more videos right when they come out be sure to click on the little bell and get notified